Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. Now, I've not spoken to you since that fantastic uh, Derby Day win against Luton at Vicarage Road. 1-0 win, João Pedro getting the goal. And uh, look, wasn't wasn't a classic derby, was it? Let's be honest. But we got the win and um, hopefully you were all happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed our content as well across all our socials. Um, we obviously did our preview after the game. We had some fans on the channel um, from America, from the Netherlands, from the UK to give their views on the game. You know, from an international fans perspective from all around the world. Um, you know, the fan in America, I mean, he got, he got up at uh, half seven in the morning to watch uh, for the 12.30 kickoff. So, uh, so yeah, look, it's always interesting to get people's views on the game. But we're not here to talk about that today. And we're not even here to preview the Reading game. We are here to talk transfers. And there's a lot going on at the moment in regards to transfers. And we're obviously in the last week of, of the transfer window. And the transfer window does extend an additional week um, for Premier League and Championship clubs to trade together. Um, but in regards to international transfers and buying trans um, buying players sorry, from clubs around Europe and around the world, you've only got this the rest of this week to do it. Uh, it closes on Monday, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's getting uh, very busy at the moment in regards to rumours. Watford, in terms of incomings, there's not actually much going on. Um, but I'm going to start with the biggest rumour of all. And that is, of course, is Myla Saar. Now, you might not be thinking, you might be thinking, what the hell am I going to go on about in a second? But just, just hear me out and I'll explain the situation. So, Manchester United and Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho wants to move to Manchester United. Borussia Dortmund have set a £120 million price tag. Manchester United don't want to pay that. So, they've obviously got a list of, of alternative options. Now, it's been widely reported by The Telegraph, um, even Adam Leventhal, that is Myla Saar is one of their alternative options, um, but they were only willing to do a loan deal rather than a permanent deal this summer. Um, Watford kind of sitting quite a high price tag on is Myla Saar's head, around 50 to 55 million pounds, which um, we obviously brought him for about 30, so looking to get a profit on him there. Um, but I don't think Manchester United, they, I don't think they seem to be that keen on paying that. So that is one to watch. Um, if Manchester United don't get Jadon Sancho, they could go after Ismail Assar. So if you keep an eye on that, that deal, um, that might affect Watford in the long term in terms of the future of Ismail Assar. So that's one to watch. In terms of outgoings, um, it was a shame to see, but Roberto Pereira um, has left Watford, unfortunately. Um, I did like Pereira, but I think it was his time to go. Um, you know, he never really consistently performed. We all know he had the quality to perform, but he never really did it on a, on a consistent basis. Scored some lovely goals, that curling effort against Leicester, um, a couple of goals against Brighton at the start of, was it last season or the season before? Um, you know, class player on his day. He played in the Champions League final for Juventus before joining us. So, you know, that shows his quality, but he has moved back to Italy. He's moved back to Watford's, um, other club, if you, if you will, the, the Pozzo's own Udinese, he's moved back there for €9 million, Euros, so obviously we wish Pereira all the best um, for the rest of his career, and yeah, I hope he has a nice time in Italy. Now, in terms of incomings into Watford, there's not really been much to go on. Um, you know, there are places we could strengthen, obviously we've just signed William Schust Ekong, from Udinese, a lot of back and forth at the moment with Udinese and Watford, but we signed him on a five-year deal, another centre-back. Uh, you know, we're obviously set on playing that five at the back now. Three centre-backs, two wing-backs going down, going down a flank. So we do need that strength and depth in that position. And, you know, everyone I've spoken to, all, everything I've read about uh, Ekong uh, is positive. He looks a really good character. I've watched his interview. His family live in Hertfordshire, so so it's not been difficult for him to to settle in. And yeah, overall, looks like a good deal. Um, hopefully, he hits he hits the ground running. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him against Reading this weekend, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And the only position we really seem to be wanting to strengthen now is left back or left wing back, if you will. Adam Leventhal saying Watford have numerous targets. We still retain an interest in Ryan Manning from QPR. Um, you know, I think that would be a good deal for us. Um, so if we could get that done before the deadline, 
that would be superb. But as I said, um, championship clubs and Premier League clubs can still trade for another week after the international deadline ends. So we could still see that rumble on for another week. Um, so that's kind of it for transfer rumours. Is, is there anywhere else you'd like to see us strengthen? Um, let me know in the comments below. I know some people want us to get in another midfielder. Uh, Chalaber obviously went off injured against Luton uh, just midway through the second half. So hopefully that's not too serious. That looks to be a hamstring injury. Will Hughes is to come back. We've still got to sort out the futures of Kapu, Welbeck, Delefeu, uh, Femini even. So there's a lot to go on. Uh, in this week, in the next two weeks, if you want to count the, the other deadlines. So, so look, keep your eye on the channel. We'll be providing more updates for you and obviously keep an eye on our socials as well because we will post out as soon as we see any information regarding transfers. So thank you very much for watching. No Reading preview this week as I brought you this video today, but hopefully the Hornets win that game and we can go into the international break top of the championship. So thank you very much for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.